Hey, this is Jamie with Golfer Geeks, and I'm here with my long, long, long overdue um, final review for the Fort Worth Black uh, Irons from Ben Hogan. And so the clubs I had and have are the, sorry, some uh, matte junk on the uh, club there. That's a 7 iron. Give you a better view of it there. Little profile view. Okay. And I also had the pitching wedge. Boom, boom, boom. Profile view there. Um, handsome, 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 handsome clubs. So I'll just tell you about my experience with the clubs. Um, I'm a 10 handicap. Um, I would like to be able to play blades, but I, um, I'm not there yet, to be honest. So let's go with the um, the pitching wedge. It was by f by far the easier club to hit. Um, it is similar. I hit a forged uh, sand wedge, lob wedge, and gap wedge. So it's not that big of a leap for me to have a forged pitching wedge. And this thing was easy, easy, easy to hit. It sets up beautifully uh, behind the ball. Um, so that's owed one to the dark color. It frames the ball beautifully. It's also due to the design of the club. It's just, it just looks great behind the ball. So unless you're a rank, rank, rank beginner, this will not scare you to set up behind a ball and take a full swing or a half swing or a pitch shot or anything you want to do. Um, I can recommend this club wholeheartedly. Uh, they do not sell partial sets though. At least not brand new ones. You can maybe find them um, online, eBay. Sorry, just trying to get in frame here. Um, so next thing is the 7 iron. So the first time I took this uh, to the range, uh, we had to hit off mats, and I was hitting it like a god, and I couldn't believe it. It went as high, same trajectory, same flight <clears throat> as my current 7 iron, which is a Big Bertha um, Fusion from 2008 uh, with a titanium face and it's a hot club it gets the ball up quickly and it goes a long way a lot of carry well for me anyway I carry my 7 iron around 165 or, or so maybe a little bit more and this one matched it shot for shot for shot off the mats so I got perhaps a false sense of security off of that um, the first time I hit it and to be honest my swing fluctuates from day to day, you know, I'm a 10 handicapper, so I'm not going to go, I don't go out and nail the ball every single time, but when I'm on, I'm on, uh, if you kind of know the feeling. Um, so this, it actually, off the turf and off of real conditions while I'm playing rounds, took a little more practice, but once you get it, <clears throat> it, it still hits beautifully, it gets the ball up in the air quickly, uh, nice trajectory, nice carry, it holds the green nicely. And what I, I did find though is, you don't lose a ton off of miss hits. And I, I miss towards the toe. If, I don't know if you can see the wear marks here. Yeah, you can. So this is where I hit the ball on any iron I hit. A little bit off the toe there. And so that's going to cost you, I don't know, five, six, seven, ten yards, um, depending on how well everything else goes in the swing. Um, so it's not like a shocking loss of distance or direction or it's not like you're hooking the ball off the course or slicing it off the course. It's got more forgiveness than the in other blades I've tried. <clears throat> and there is, I don't know if I mentioned this, a little bit of an intimidation factor when you set this behind the ball when compared to my clubs, which are kind of moving from the um, from player to, um, I forget the terminology I use for it, Anyway, um, these are player clubs, no doubt about it. Uh, my big birthers are more kind of a helper club, but they're not like the, the big cartoon heads. They're like a step below, like between that and this, or where my clubs lie. And there's a little bit of an intimidation factor, but I found just swinging away and just like, you know, whatever, I'm just going to make my swing. I got all the performance I needed. <clears throat> not as much forgiveness as my... Um, bigger heads with the titanium face, but pretty much all you can ask for. And what I can say is, if you strike the ball decently, 
um, unless you have to be mid or mid handicap or lower, I would think, and you're thinking about blades, I wouldn't hesitate um, on recommending um, the Fort Worth Blacks. Number one, they're beautiful. Well, number one, they perform great. Number two, they're beautiful. And number three, they're probably the cheapest blades and cheapest high quality irons you're ever gonna get. <clears throat> so with Hogan, you buy directly from them. They don't really sell it through stores much or at all. And they custom make every set. So once you order a set, it's about two weeks before you get the set because it's all custom made and everything. So if you're thinking about blades, and man, if you see these in anyone's bag, you're gonna want them because they are just crazy good looking and uh, just nice, nice, nice clubs. Um, all right, so that's what I think about the Fort Worth Blacks. Uh, I can recommend them if you're in any way inclined to get blades. Uh, I'm not there yet, especially when you start moving into six, five, and four, and three irons. I'm not there yet. But if I was, these would be the clubs, the Fort Worth Blacks. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks, and I'm sorry this took so long. I'll be producing more reviews and more videos on a more regular basis this year. And that's it, guys. Thank you, and have a great day.